I designed the craziest Pokemon Lockout Challenge, where we can play any Pokemon game we want to. Here's how it works. Two players race to complete 25 random objectives. When one player completes an objective, it locks the other player out. It's no longer achievable. First player to complete 13 objectives is the winner. But here's the twist. Those objectives can be completed in any of these Pokemon games. It's up to the players to decide which game to play. And if we want to switch games mid-challenge, that's totally fine. Whatever helps us complete the objectives the fastest. Catch an Abra? We can do that in Leaf Green, Emerald, or Platinum. Just do it before the other player. This is a challenge of two skill sets. Picking the right game to play, and then playing it quickly. I challenged fellow YouTuber Akko to this race, and he said I was crazy, but he was in. So we jumped on stream to kick off this Pokemon Lockout race. All right, hello. Hey Akko, how's it going? Good, good. I'm ready, I'm pumped. Before we started, the objective board was hidden from both of us. So we muted our Discord call and took five minutes to secretly devise our strategy, primarily deciding which game to play first. Platinum makes sense because I could theoretically check like five of these off very quickly. I could do catching an Abra, using Rock Smash, recreating a gym leader's team, KOing an ally Pokemon, and getting two quick claw procs in a row. That seems really good. I might try Ruby Sapphire Emerald first game. We can knock out Rock Smash. We can rock out, knock out Aeron. We can knock out, get to plus six in a stat. That's actually really easy. I should be able to do that. I think we get Howl pretty easy uh, early for Puchiena. Honestly, a lot of this I could knock out on Ruby Sapphire Emerald. I don't know what Akko's going to decide to do. I think Gen 3 is like his specialty, so he may go for Gen 3. Yeah, Emerald's got to be first. Emerald's got to be first. But I feel like that's what he's going to do. Yeah, so we have no idea what the other player is doing. And we asked our chats not to tell us. The only way we can tell is seeing which objectives the other player marks off. But we unmuted the call and got ready for the actual race to begin. How's it going over there? Good, good. I'm ready. <laughs> 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 it's overwhelming, oh, isn't man. it? No, definitely, definitely. But it's fun. I think I have a general game plan, but I feel like okay. we're, we're probably both going to do the same thing. Well, we'll see. I mean, that's that's yeah. part of the fun. With both of us ready to go, we officially kicked off the race. Me working my way through Platinum and Akko taking on Emerald first. I don't know why I chose uh, Torchic, by the way. I think I need to just straight... I'm, I'm spaghettiing all over the place. I just need to... I need to pick... Mudkip for sure. I don't know what I was thinking. Hurry up, mom. I don't have time for this. So the first thing I'm going to do, because I get to go to Jubilee first. So I think trying to get a quick clop proc is probably a good idea. KO and ally Pokemon is also really easy. So I'm definitely going to need a, a Poochiana right off the bat. Breathe. I'm fine. Okay, we got our running shoes. What I did do beforehand is I planned the um, optimal mashing strategy, which is setting L equals A. There are Intimidate Pokemon, um, but I, I will worry about that in a second. I really want to get these first few things out of the way, and then I'll worry about that. Win money in Game Corner and Emerald? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I could just do most of this in Emerald. <laughs> All right, if this one uh, is Intimidate a thing. Okay, it is Intimidate, so I will go ahead and catch it just because. Come on. Good. Okay, so that's uh, Intimidate Pokemon in one game, so I'll, I'll try to remember that. Uh... Where's Howl? Hello? Who said that Poochiana learns Howl at level 4? You lied! So part of the fun is going to be trying to see once Akko starts marking things off, like if we can try to figure out which game he's playing. And if he marks off some of the ones I've been talking about, then he's probably playing this one. Level 5. I feel like I remember learning. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Perfect. Alright, so we're into Jubilife. Let's get this Quick Claw. Uh, sure, yeah. Let's pick berries. We have time for that. <laughs> God damn it. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let's do one, two. <laughs> All right, this has to be where the quick claw is, right? It's her. Yes, okay. So let's try to get uh, two quick claws in a row. That's plus five. My plus six? I think that's plus six, right? Boom, bada boom, let's go. Hey, not bad, not bad. We're on the board, we're on the board. Oh. All right, so he is on the board first, plus six in a stat. Come on, Quick Claw. Hasn't even procced once. I did equip it, right? How are we not getting any? I mean, the fact that I haven't gotten one single Quick Claw proc is really concerning to me. Like, it should be like 20%. Why is this not happening? Okay, clearly something is wrong here. I'm doing something wrong. I don't know what it is, but... Okay. I don't know. I'm gonna give up. <laughs> I'm giving up. 
Apparently, Mighty Anna will only have Intimidate if Poochie Anna has run away. Oh, perfect. We have run away. Now I'm getting stun locked by this Poochie Anna. Oh, God, please. So I have Great Ball. I'm going to hope that works for Abra. There definitely is an animation. Oh. Oh, you think... Oh, no, battle animations. That's what it is. I bet it happened. Crap. Battle animations are off. So I, I got it and probably didn't even realize it. That's exactly what it is. Okay. This is the, the mandatory double battle. So this is where we get killing the ally. So RIP Wormpool. Uh, maybe just string shot this one. <laughs> Perfect. That's so dumb. I love that. All right. There's one. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened here? There's there. Okay. There you go. We got it. We got it. Got it. Okay. Damn it. Okay. He just got two quick claws in a row. Okay. Shoot. So now you guys understand how crazy this challenge can be. If you have an idea for an objective in a future lockout race, let me know in the comments. I will definitely be using some of them. While you're at it, make sure you're subscribed to the channel for future content like this. And subscribe to Akko as well for awesome Pokemon speedrunning content. Now that I was on the board, I turned my attention to the bottom left objective, recreating a gym leader's team in another game. I knew that in the Orberg mine, I could find both Geodude and Onyx, and getting both would recreate Brock's team. Around the same time, Akko got the first badge in Emerald, and turned his attention to catching an Abra. However, I'm not going to do any, like, bag manips. Um, alright, well, I might as well try to catch this Abra, right? I don't think this is going to work, but I'll be ready in case it does. Nope. It was worth a shot. So we're going to just chill here until we can find Abra, which we definitely can find. Perfect. Come on, Abra. Oh, let's go. All right. Oh, he caught an Abra. So he could be playing Emerald too, right? Because you can get an Abra on like 116. So next goal is just to get to Brawly, I think. No, I think we definitely... Okay, so we go for Aeron, which is Steel type, right? Aeron's definitely Steel type. Execution-wise, I'm just getting to Gym 2. That's the that's all I'm doing. Okay, there's one. I'm doing the luck-based ones, which may not be a good strategy. He probably is right around getting a badge. Yes, there we go. Okay. All right, I got I to gotta do it now. Please, please stay on the ball. Brutal. This sounds bad, but my biggest hurdle with, with Black White 2 is that I've literally never played the games. There we go. Okay, okay. Now that I know the stakes. Oh, that was so quick. Oh, that's huge. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, God. Why did I not just deposit? Oh, this was not... Ah, we're just going to deposit. That's Brock's team right there. All right, let's go use Rock Smash. Recreate Gym Leader's team in another game. Oh, God. What team did he recreate? Yeah, he's probably he probably did Brock's team in DP. Oh, finally, let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Got a steel type. We got a steel type. We got a steel type. I think I can do that fairly quickly. Catch a steel. All right, he's definitely playing Emerald. He also has a badge for sure. He's in the um, Granite Cave right now. No, no, no. What we need to do for sure is just get the second badge. We just need second badge. Although this fight is actually really hard. I'm pretty sure we need to. We might need to level up a little bit. Akko and I both began leveling up our starters for a gym fight. Me aiming for Monferno to get Mach Punch, and Akko aiming for more levels on his Marsh Tomp. However, he wasn't finding much success, so he decided to do the first pivot of the run, switching over to Fire Red. Okay, we'll run Fire Red, Leaf Green. We'll get the Rattata with four moves of the same type. I think that's that's actually a really good idea. Does he have another potion? No. There we go. Okay, that's the first badge, so let's go use Rock Punch or uh, Rock Smash. All right. There's Rock Smash. Okay. Um, oh, God damn it. He used Rock Smash. Okay, okay. I think that does confirm he's running DPP, right? Do we have Pokeballs already? I think we do, right? Okay, let's get a Rattata. I could go catch a Guts Pokemon in Machop. Yeah, that might be a good use of time. Okay, okay, we got the Guts Rattata. Sick. So we have two Guts Pokemon. So we need Rattata level 13. That's gonna be easy. That's the next one. That's the immediate next one. 
Where's the last Guts Pokemon we pulled? I think it's got to be Machop, right? Because we could. I thought you could get Machop in Gen 4. Thank you. Freaking finally. Put that in the notes, chat. Put that in the notes. All right, we're going to go get the second badge. As Akko switch trained his Rattata to level 13, I began the march to the second gym in Platinum. But after making a bit of progress, I had a change of heart. Rather than grinding for a second badge where I couldn't check anything off, I opted to switch to Soul Silver, where a few easier objectives could be achieved. I think we're going to get, uh, to make the first two gyms as easy as possible, we're going to do Cyndaquil here. So we're going to try to do Use Self-Destruct by catching a... By catching a Pineco using Headbutt, we can do that after the first gym. We're gonna try to, before that, we're gonna try to catch a Sentret and get it to level seven so that it can learn four moves of the same type. And we're gonna, then after that, we're gonna try to catch something in an Ultra Ball and Goldenrod. We can do all of those things in pretty quick succession. So I'm gonna focus on this now, but that's the plan. Put us to level 13. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. One Pokemon with four moves of the same type. Perfect. Holy shit. Oh no. Oh, he sniped me. Oh, I wonder if he's just ahead of me in this game potentially he's now playing this so i need to make a decision if i keep going or not i think i keep going because i didn't spend a lot of time trying to train up a centret got the magikarp cool 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 because evolving magikarp is really valuable because you can get you get two for the price of one because you get an intimidate pokemon and you get the evolve magikarp one yeah magikarp could be if we can get one more intimidate mon Maybe Ekans in Fire Red Leaf Green. Maybe we can come back to this game and get a Magikarp. I don't think it's worth it right now, though. Okay, put a Pokemon in Daycare, uh, I think is the next one we go for. Oh, please don't lose here. Oh, no. Wake up, please. Oh, thank God. Whoa, that would have been so such a huge time loss if I'd lost there. That was really scary, actually. Having to do all of that again would be uh, awful. Oh, I can escape rope out, right? Now, that's game knowledge, baby. And this rocket fight's gonna be super duper mega ultra super ass. There's no way. There's just no way. I need to. I need to get more items. Oh my god. I'm just backtracking. This is horrible. Ah! Crit. Oh. Yo. One HP. That's huge. We play this until we get to Old Rod because that's on the way, or because we could get daycare on the way. And Old Rod is the second we get into Vermilion, so that should be really easy. Oh, we can put a. Pokemon in the daycare too, can't we? The daycare is right here too. So that's actually, I probably want to do that first. That's like the fastest thing. This is probably going to end poorly. I, I don't think I should have done this. I think I should have gone Misty first. We outspeed, we kill with punch. And you're dead. Nice, nice rival fight. Oh yes, yes. The burn is so, so freaking clutch, dude. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, huge, huge. Good job, Kulava. Clutch, Clutch lava, cl clutch, clutch lava, clutch lava. <laughs> I guarantee that Akko is doing the exact same thing I'm doing right now. I think we beat Misty. <laughs> oh God, please. Don't kill. Oh God, please. Oh, let's go. Okay. <sighs> so close for no fucking reason, but that's fine. He probably wonders what the hell I'm doing because I haven't, I haven't checked anything off in a, even longer. Bro, what is he cooking? What is he cooking to where he hasn't gotten anything in the last, like, 30 minutes, it feels like? Okay, I'm going to pee real quick. Yeah, woof. This is going to be tough. Oh, God. How do I even win this fight? Probably go for sm s smoke screen is probably the strat. We'll do a smoke screen strat. There we go. One more. Yes. Okay, huge. Huge, huge, huge. Holy shit, that was the long longest that was the longest pee of all time. I'm never drinking water again. Alright, we're we're very close to potentially knocking like three of these out. Actually, uh no no no. Okay, okay. Pokemon in daycare. Let's go! No! Oh god, he put a Pokemon in the daycare. That means he's ahead of me. We were so close, dude. We were like two minutes behind him. So we get old rod here and then we quit out the game. Nice! Akko decided to switch over to Ruby to get a final Old Rod and Guts Pokemon. Meanwhile, I was sure he was playing Heart Gold Soul Silver, so I rushed to get the next few objectives. Pineco, beautiful. Oh my gosh. It's level 7 too. It definitely knows self destruct. Please. Yes, okay. Pineco, you self destruct. Boom. Ooh. Oh, damn it. Okay, he just got self destruct. Okay. Not even gonna heal. I don't care. We're getting that Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball. Let's get four, just in case. 
All right, let's catch something in an Ultra Ball. Oh, it did. Okay. Get ready for that animation. Oh, no. It probably has. Does it have like a bad catch rate? Oh, God. I'm running away. That's much better. Shake, shake, shake. Caught. Boom. Oh, God. He caught a Pokemon in an Ultra Ball, too. Game Corner now, too. Yeah, is that available now? Oh, God. Voltorb flip. I don't remember how to play this game. Um, Zero Voltorbs here, right? Received three coins. Does that count? Does that count as getting money in the win money in a game corner? I think I have to keep the money, right? Oh, can I quit? You will receive three coins. Yes. I received three coins. Okay, cool. That's win money in the game corner. I think we get old rod three games. I think we get Pokemon contest. I think we... Oh, fuck. He got game corner too. Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> How did he get game corner? Is he doing Heartgold Soul? He must be in Heartgold Soul Silver. Okay, okay, here's what we'll do. We'll get second badge here. We'll get second badge in Emerald. Pick up two badges in three games. There's no way he's doing it. I think we we go for the three game strats. We go for all the, we pick up all the three game ones. With the race tied, Akko locked into his strategy and I decided to do one more thing before switching games. All right, let's find a headbutt tree and then we got to make sure our hair crosses guts. And then we can go catch a Rattata in Fire Red Leaf Green. That'll be the play. There we go. I think that's like plus defense, minus special defense, or something like that. Oh! Okay, and I think we just sweep here. Get Mawile for Intimidate. Ooh, that's beautiful. That's a great idea. Don't kill. You're fucking kidding me, bro. Are you fucking kidding me? Yes. All right, cool. Let's see what it is. Please be guts. Please be guts. Please be guts. No. That was so risky for no fucking reason. Holy shit. All right, yo, let's go. Three, three old rods. Oh, he got the old rod. Okay, interesting. We need Makuhita for guts. We need Mawile for intimidate. Yes. Oh my god. We're, we're leaving, please. Oh, it's guts, it's guts, it's guts. Okay, beautiful, it's beautiful. All right, we're gonna go to uh, Fire Red Leaf Green now. Let's go. Switch and layout, ooh. Okay, so here, we're gonna try to catch a Rattata. Guts, yes, okay. Talo, Makuhita, um, Rattata. No! Oh my god, he beat me by a few seconds. With Akko now in the lead by two objectives, he continued pushing for badges and intimidate Pokemon. Meanwhile, I decided to completely change up my strategy. It might make sense actually to just beat the rival in a bunch of different games. And, and we'll try to get these two, the rival fight in eight games and the total 12 rival fights. I think we can do that. So let's go ahead and do the Emerald. All right. That's a sixth rival fight done. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Um, okay, hold on. Oh, I should have got Intimidate Ekans. Intimidate Ekans is actually... Wait, let me let me just get that, actually. <laughs> I gotta open the Pokedex, guys, real quick. Let's do some research. All right, so that's all the D uh, Game Boy games. So let's go back to this. Uh, we're going to go Pearl. Perfect. This is going to kill, isn't it? I'm stupid. Why did I do that? Oh, my God. <laughs> Maybe it does make sense to do catch Pokemon in six games. I could probably do that faster than beating the rest of the rivals, especially because this rival's a little far. Yeah. All right. We're going to take a quick... I'm, I'm making a decision. We're going to take a quick pit stop and catch Pokemon now. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Okay. 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 Needing just one more Intimidate Pokemon, Akko switched over to Platinum, and I focused on the catch Pokemon in six games objective. All right. So that's three games with a Pokemon. So we got to catch one in the three Game Boy games, and then we're good. And we're very close in all three. So I think this makes sense to do. I can knock this one out pretty quick. Jesus, I, I'm running 30 FPS right now. Fuck this tutorial though. Wait, no way. Do I have to go all the way back home? Okay. So I think we've caught six or seven in the first game, then five in the second game. Jesus, guys, this fucking <laughs> speed. All right, I'm gonna mark it as soon as I can. 
Got it. Catch Pokemon in 16. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going wide. He's going wide. After taking another look at the board, I wanted to reach out to Akko to ask him an important question. Hey, Akko. What's up, Brian? <laughs> uh, I wanted to ask you, so we're, we're at about the three-hour mark now, mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. we're still a few away. How do you feel about mm -hmm. lowering the goalposts to 11 instead of 13? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could do that. I'm, I'm down for that. I'm for okay, that. I just, some of these I'm realizing now, like, uh, well, I'm not going to say which ones, but some of these are kind of a lot. Yeah, so, they're like deeper in the game. Like Safari Zone, yeah. I was like, that's the oh one. Gosh, I don't know if I even that's the one that I, I was like, <laughs> but hey, man, if you're going for Safari Zone, go for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, um, it might come down to the wire here, so best of luck. Yeah, best of luck. And with that, we can knock off three games with Intimidate Pokemon. Let's go! Oh, he got another one. He got Intimidate. I must have been talking to him right when he was trying to do that, so. With the goal set to 11 objectives, I continued my rival fight grind. But only two away from claiming victory, Akko honed in on his final strategy, defeating Brawly in two more games and then evolving a Magikarp. Okay, I think if I just... Listen, if I just X attack... You're kidding me, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? God, and I miss? I hate this game, bro. I hate this game so much. I can't believe this. Why? That was actually the worst possible outcome I could have gotten. All right, this is the eighth rival battle. Something tells me I'm not going to do so well here. All right, let's do as much damage as we can here. Get a crit would be awesome. Oh, a tackle miss. Love it. Oh, yes. This Starly is almost as clutch as the Quillava Clutchly. Dude, if I could do this rival fight in the first try, that'd be sick. Oh my god. Starly. Starly solo Turtwig. All right, we'll save, and then we'll start working on the Gen 5 games. Yeah, I'm just going to keep fucking banging my head against the wall until this works. Oh my god. Happy birthday. Uh, can I crit? I need a crit. I need a crit. I need a crit. I need a crit. All right, let's get through this uh, cutscene very quickly. So as soon as we beat Bianca, this counts. Player defeated Bianca. Rival fight in eight games. Whew. And that puts us at 10. Oh, we got rival fight in eight games? Oh, no. Now we're level 20? Oh, there's no way we don't lose. Or there's no way we lose. <laughs> Oh, wait, no, that's perfect. You're dead. Let's go. Okay, 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 okay. So now we just need to do this again <laughs> in Ruby. So I think after this, I need to catch 30 Pokemon. Should actually be pretty fast. And then I could try to get the, um, move the Sudowoodo. I think those are the two that I'm going to have to go for. Is Evolve the Magikarp the best way to do this? Or should I get, I feel like Contest is so dumb. Bro, this is ass. Why is this fight so much worse than Ruby? At 11 health, I'm going to try it. All right, there you go. And that is Bianca defeated. 12 total rival fights. Hey. What's up, man? Hey, um, my computer crashed. Oh, no! <laughs> Can you pause for, like, sure. five yeah, yeah, minutes? Yeah. No problem. It gives you time to breathe. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I just checked one off too. So at least I did that before I crashed. Nice, nice. Oh, you got 12 rival fights. Oh, geez. Okay, I am back up. All right, welcome back. Welcome, welcome. Are, are you good to, to pick back up? Definitely. Yeah, it was a good intermission because like it's been straight rapid fire just going off adrenaline for the last like two hours. So I felt yep. good. Yep. Three. Yes. Two, one, keep going. With my computer back up and running and the score tied at nine to nine, Akko and I both got to work. I set my sights on the 30 total Pokemon objective, needing 14 more. However, Akko was wrapping up his 10th objective. Okay, yo, okay, 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 okay. Wait, that was, that was, uh, that was two badges in three games, right? Okay, how do we get the last one, guys? I feel like, uh, Evolve Magikarp, maybe. Okay, wait, we've caught 12? Let's just catch 18 Pokemon, I guess. Is that really the best use of our time? Maybe evolving Magikarp? 18 Pokemon is just too much. It feels like too much. Let's see how much money I have. 15. I think Rattata's at half health should be pretty safe bets. 
That's 17 Pokemon. I think the combination of this plus Gym plus SSN for sure gets Magikarp to level 20, right? I, I was just thinking I need to find rare candies. Nice. All right, we're at 22. Magikarp, get in there. Don't die. Fuck, I got critted? Oh my God. Ooh, it actually broke out. Now we have just the right number of balls. If if one of the Pokemon breaks out, we'll have to find more money. That will set us back a lot. So this is actually crucial now that we catch a Pokemon in each of these three balls. Oh no, that's really bad. We're gonna take a fun little detour over here. I know you're around here, I remember you. Thank you, okay. Is there any other rare candies that I can get? I missed the Mount Moon one, unfortunately. Oh, I can only buy one? Okay, I'm living on the edge. All right, I need both of these Pokeballs to work. Okay, I don't think I want to. I don't think I want to do a, um, a Caterpie. I think Rattata would be clutch here. Oh, amazing! All right, please. Got it. That's thirty total. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're one away. Oh god, he caught 30 total Pokemon. Oh no! Oh my god, I need Magic Card to evolve! I think the the play is to go move that pseudo widow. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. This is gonna come down to the wire. I think we're both just trying to grind up a Magic Card right now. <laughs> Gotta beat Whitney. I'm I'm honestly a little bit nervous here. We each needed one more objective. So which would happen first? Akko getting his Magikarp to level 20 or me beating Whitney and moving the pseudo Wudo? <laughs> I know Ryan is trading up that Magikarp right now. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. There's no music to match the intensity. Where am I? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Sometimes the game does weird stuff, but I don't think I've ever seen like all the characters just leave. All right, let's see if we can beat Whitney first try. I really doubt it, but... I have two. I have two rare candies. Northeast corner, is it here? <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Oops, I need to go for Ember. Oh, and I'm in love. Oh, and I flinched. Oh, and I got crit. Oh, and I'm a move. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, now just don't just let it evolve. Holy shit. Oh my god. Okay, right. <laughs> Did you just spend like <laughs> switch time switch training a Magikarp? I just switch trained a Magikarp. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations Gosh, yeah. on on the win. Dude, holy shit. That was close. Congrats to Akko for the first victory in this Pokemon lockout race. And Akko, I officially challenge you to a rematch. Maybe my computer won't crash this time. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments or leave a like. And definitely consider subscribing to both this channel and Akko's, which is linked in the description. He makes really great Pokemon speedrunning content. Thank you all so much for watching.